Hello, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. I'd like to welcome you to a Cardboard Coat Check, where we'll be checking in this board game. What we are doing today is we are going to unbox a few different games, but the first of them is going to be Eminent Domain Escalation from Casey Minstrel Games. This is an expansion for the Eminent Domain deck building game, which is one of the most unique deck building games that has been out there. Before we get to that, let me just tell you a bit about myself. I am Otuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com, all over social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. The normal thing I do is answer your gaming and game night questions. Now, you can send those questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Just think of us as a dear Abbey for gamers. You can find the answers to questions people have asked me at that website I mentioned, tabletopbellhop.com. You can also find it on our podcast, which is the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you should be able to find on iTunes, Stitcher, and all the usual places, or your, or your podcatcher should be able to find it. Uh, if not, there's a link to that on the website, which I've already mentioned three times, so I'm not going to say that URL again. Uh, other than that, we do have a Patreon, so if you do dig this video, you can head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'd be awesome if you subscribe. If you're watching this live on Twitch, it'd be awesome if you hit that follow button. Speaking of Twitch, we do record that podcast I mentioned earlier once a week, Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. So you could join us for that. So on to the box. We are going to open up Eminent Domain Escalation. So first, I am going to get the shrink wrap off so I stop blinding y'all with glare. I do apologize. I probably should do this ahead of time. Right up, I got to say, really solid box for an ex uh, expansion. This nice thick cardboard. So there you have the front of the box, you have the back, and I swear that's M. Bison from Street Fighter. I could be wrong. I'm not sure what he's doing in the eminent domain resort in the world. Welcome back, Emperor. Time for unchecked expansion is over. Warmongers raise their flags over weaker empires, while civilized planets take shelter behind peace treaties. Brace yourself for rising tensions in this next chapter of eminent domain escalation. Eminent domain escalation puts the following new tools at the Emperor's disposal. New meaning for the ships in eminent domain. So it totally replaces what the ships did in the original. New technologies with alternate costs. New diverse technology tree. Exciting new planets, optional scenarios, and more roles would bring the game to a five player game. I have heard really good things about this expansion. I'm actually looking forward to trying it out. So we are just gonna slide the lid off. You're gonna get to see this same time I do for the first time. I see ads on the end. Of course, we have a rule book in the bunch of glare. So we have the rule book on top. We'll get back to that in a minute. We have a TMG catalog. We've got two decks of cards here. We have, I'm going to guess, an overlay to go over the board to replace some of the, the stuff. This might even be a sticker. I'm not sure. And we have some punch boards, which are new planets. We have put this right here. So these are new starting worlds, it looks like. They say start. We've got some more there that also say start. And then we have some improved summary rules. Showing off some of the new rules for the improved fleet rules. And on the other side, the basic fleet rules. I'm not going to punch those out now. I'm going to throw those right back in the box. What I am going to jump over to is the instruction book, which is surprisingly thick for an expansion. We are looking at 19 pages, all in English, all the way to the back, but it does look like some of it's reference. So we're going to open this up right to the front. i got to say already, um, white text on dark background, not a big fan TMG. I don't like that much. I'm getting old. It's a little hard to read. Font small, but readable. Uh, lots of art, though. Lots of graphics, so that's cool. Lots of examples. We got, okay, so a whole bunch of new terminology. We have technological card references. I'm not going to show you every page. I'm just going to flip through. There's a setup reference. There is a techno. Okay, so actual rules only go to page 10. And then we get into references. So references for all the new cards and technology. So there are some errata noted from the first game. And then, yeah, we have all kinds of new tech. Here, kind of hold it so you can see it a bit. Not a lot to see here. Looks good, though. Now we're going to go through some of the cards. I don't see a um, 
cigarette package style opening here. I would have used the safety knife anyway, but I don't see a good, like a quick release way to open these cards. All right. So what do we have? So we have a bunch of blue new cards. I don't have no idea why they're blue, but they're the, the starting deck style cards. The So anyone that's played the original game will recognize this. So you have Colonize, Research, Warfare, and that's it. So these are all Colonize, Research, Warfare. We got some other cards mixed in. Produce, Trade, Politics, Survey, Politics. Yeah, I don't know what's with the blue backgrounds. So we have a bunch of the base cards. Possibly when you're playing five players, you add these in. But those are no different from the cards in the base game. Uh, there's a whole bunch more of these. A whole bunch more with the blue edges. Again, I'm assuming these are probably cards that get added into the base game. Then we have a ton of technologies here. So I'm just going to hold a few of these up. Uh, just like the original game, the artwork very solid. I dig it. It fits it well. Lots of clear iconography. You got no race for the galaxy going on here. Everything's nice to see. Nice, easy to see. Tour de Force is worth three. These aren't sorted very well, so it's kind of hard to show you which is which. Because here's a tech that requires a bunch of different things. And there's where your M. Bison card is. Elevated Incentives. Synthesize. All right. Whole ton of new technology cards. Then we have another set of cards here. These look like some differences, something different. What do we got? I am failing at getting off track. Oh, everything's mixed. See, we got to mix the cards. So I'm going to have to sort through these quickly, see what we got. So we do have new worlds, we have scenarios, then we have permanent text, so more text, tech, scenarios, I realize that has to do with how they print them, but yeah, this is all mixed in cards, text, and scenarios, and then a politics card right in the middle, scenarios, more worlds, tech, worlds, tech. Bunch more scenarios, worlds, scenarios, worlds, tech, worlds, tech, scenario, another politics card, scenario, world, scenario, world, tech, we're almost done, scenario, tech, tech, scenario, all right, so, bunch more scenarios, these are all permanent abilities, then a whole bunch of new worlds. Not a ton, but like not as many as to come in the base game, but a significant stack of new worlds. Uh, these aren't going to look like much, so I'm not going to show off a lot of these. Again, I, I dig the artwork. It works for the game. I think I saw a tech card in there. Oh, yeah, I did a terrible job at sorting these. So there's obviously some new abilities, like this one at the top here. Yeah, I am. There we go. Less glare. Come on, focus camera. Another world. Again, they, they all look pretty basic. Then we have scenarios, which I know nothing about, so I couldn't tell you what these mean, but there are a lot of them, which is pretty cool. Significant stack of scenarios. Here's one called Arms Dealer. And it looks like the starting roll cards are going to change for each player, which is pretty cool because this is a deck builder, so the cards you start with is going to really change things up. It also changes starting technologies and starting planets. This one's called Artificial Intelligence. This, this has me excited. Streamlined. So a streamlined game. That's cool. I dig this. I, I like the idea of this. Of the scenario. So that's it. That's what's in this thin, very, very solid box. Which is kind of a shame because I'm pretty sure these cards are just going to fit in the original box. And I'll probably throw this out. Uh, right now everything's not going to fit back nice because I unboxed cards. So this can be a bit of a mess when I open it up later. But that's fine. So we're going to try to get these to fit back in. I had to sort these cards anyway. So everything fits back into the box. 
So there we go. That was my unboxing of Eminent Domain Escalation, which from what I hear really improves the original game. It makes military more viable option. There's obviously some new fleet ideas in here, some new scenario cards. Card quality is as good as the original. Hasty Minstrel make good looking games. The art's fantastic, ties in well with the original game. I have nothing to fear with this, no complaints. Looks good, looks solid. There's a lot of stuff in here actually with the punch cards, a lot of cards. That's three different decks of cards in here. Not disappointed at all. So that is Eminent Domain Escalation from Tasty Minstrel Games. So again, I am Motuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Again, if you have a question for me, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Look for me on social media as tabletopbellhop, one word. Make sure you hit your, the subscribe button before you take off. If you're on Twitch, make sure you hit the follow button. And check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, this has been a cardboard coat check where we unbox eminent domain escalation. Good night and game on.